Good morning, my Habibis. Um, today is a day where I'm going to be training with an ex-professional footballer called Mark McCammon. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. Actually, wait one second. Let me let the light in. It's a bit too dark. Uh, ain't a lot better. Okay, so letting uh, what was I saying? Ex-professional footballer Mark McCammon going to train with him for one hour straight. I'm going to show him how we play. We. Arabs! <laughs> no, no, no. He's a great player. Uh, he retired um, and he's got a lot of skills. He said, look, I said, let me show you some training and, you know, get you to the professional level standard of training. And I was like, hell yeah, man, let's do this. So um, I'm going to show him my skills so that, you know what, he might call one of his friends, Alex Ferguson or... I forgot the other manager's name. <laughs> he might say, yo, look, get Assad on board. And who knows, guys, after you watch this, I might become a professional footballer. You may never know. So I'm going off now. It's 8.44 and my training starts at 9. It's going to be a quick 10 minute journey. And then, yeah, time to show him what this bad boy can do. Yalla, my habibi, let's go! So what I forgot to mention to you guys very quickly is that English Institute of Sport, EIS in Sheffield, is where Anthony Joshua trains. So right on that track, as you can see, is where... You probably can remember Anthony and Joshua doing a bit of training, a bit of running around if you watch one of his montage videos. And right around the back where we're heading is the sand pitch and up there is where he used to train. Mark, I'm yes. here yes. training with the man himself, yes. the man, the myth, the legend, Charlton FC, Charlton United, isn't it? Charlton. Charlton. Barbadian Athletic, athletic Barbadian <laughs> striker, bro. Yeah, He's awakened the beast. <laughs> Let's do this, bro. <laughs>
Mark, had a great session today. Good session. Oh, look at them biceps, bro. Listen, Mark is in Sheffield. If you ever need good training session, he's the guy for yourself. Ex-professional footballer, man. You don't mess with that type of people. You know what? What we'll got you into football, bro? What we'll got me into football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoyment, happiness, pleasure, commitment, desire, everything, passion. And how did you become a footballer? Like, is, is it consistency? Yeah, just is it passion, it hard work? Then, just play for the enjoyment and uh, street football, innit? Yeah. So you just go on the street, play, make sure you do your homework when you come in. <laughs> what advice would you give to people that are always aspiring to become footballers? I'll give them to enjoy it as much as possible. Believe in yourself and be 100% committed to the cause if you want to make it. Don't think anyone better than you. Always think you're the best. Go out there with a good attitude. Amazing. And you will produce the goods. Boom. Guys, this is one of the best tips you can take. Whoever wants to become a footballer or succeed in life, remember that tip. Amazing, bro. Loved it. Nice one. Cool. Take care, bro. Peace. Peace. I like Tony. What are you saying, bro? My Habibi right there. <laughs> Surviving. That's